This program provides education, not advice. Sponsors pay a fee for endorsements and interviews. See the truthayf.com disclosure page for details. This is where technology, innovation, and personal finance come together. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman. The Truth About Your Future with Rick Edelman is brought to you by Schwab. With Schwab Investing Themes, it's easy to invest in ideas you believe in, like online music and videos, artificial intelligence, electric vehicles, and more. Schwab's research process uncovers emerging trends, then their technology curates relevant stocks into themes. Choose from over 40 themes. Buy all the stocks in a theme as is, or customize to better fit your investing goals, all in a few clicks. Schwab Investing Themes is not intended to be investment advice or a recommendation of any stock or investment strategy. Learn more at schwab.com slash thematic investing. It's Wednesday, July 3rd, and Joe Biden is still in the race. Hey, I got an email yesterday from Jim in Miami. He said, Rick, I appreciate your daily worldly and investment information, but lately you've been really socking it to us. Our focus and time is limited. I urge you to produce shorter podcasts. Possible? Thanks. Jim B. It's so funny. I got an email just last month from a guy who said, Rick, your podcasts are too short. You really need to make them longer. Well, I guess I can't win. What are your views on this? I I mean, I'm doing this podcast for you, not for me. So I want to deliver what it is you need. So do you want longer podcasts you on shorter podcasts i'm happy to hear from you so send me your thoughts to ask rick at the truth ayf.com the links in the show notes and uh today i want to do something for you that i like to do every fourth of july and that's talk about our american dollar bill if you've got one on you and you probably don't because i mean after all who carries cash anymore take a look at it but if you're driving don't look Look at it later. The dollar bill was last redesigned in 1957. It's paper money, we call it, but no, it's not really paper. It's a blend of cotton and linen. If you look close at it, you'll see it contains red and blue fibers. They're made of silk. On the front of the bill, to the right of George Washington, is the seal of the United States Treasury. That seal features balancing scales. Not that the seal represents a balanced budget, mind you. Oh, we sure know that doesn't happen. But the scales are balanced because it's actually a symbol of justice. So you wonder why it's the U.S. Treasury seal as opposed to the Justice Department seal. But I digress. Under the scales are 13 stars, one for each of the 13 colonies. The key on the bottom signifies official authority. And the center shows a chevron, 13 stars on it, representing, again, the 13 colonies. On the back of the bill, turn it over. You'll see two sides of the Great Seal of the United States, and that was designed by several committees. The first committee consisted of Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson. It took four years to complete this and another two years for the First Continental Congress to give its final approval. The left side of the seal contains a pyramid. The face is lit, but the western side is dark. Some say this demonstrates that as of the 1780s, we hadn't yet begun to explore the West. The pyramid is uncapped. Again, that signifies we were yet unfinished with our task. Charles Thompson, the Secretary of Congress in 1782, told Congress that the pyramid represented strength and duration. An eye sitting inside the capstone is an ancient symbol for divinity. That was long been used by the Masons, and of course, Benjamin Franklin was one of those. Above that is the Latin phrase, and I hope I pronounce it correctly, annuit copitus, which means God has favored our undertaking. And below that is the phrase novus ordum secularum, which means a new order for the ages. At the base of the pyramid, in Roman numerals, is the year 1776. The right side of the seal can be found at national cemeteries, and it's also the basis for the seal of the President of the United States. The bald eagle was chosen as our nation's symbol for victory, and I might add that Benjamin Franklin objected to this. He wanted not the bald eagle, but the wild turkey. Sorry, Ben. 
The bald eagle, they say, fears no storm because it's strong enough and smart enough to soar above it. The bald eagle has no crown, and that was important symbolism, considering we had just won our war of independence against King George of England. The shield on the eagle's chest represents Congress. It consists of red and white stripes with a blue bar. Those, of course, are the colors of the American flag. The red represents hardiness and valor. The white is purity and innocence. The blue, vigilance, perseverance, and justice. The eagle's beak holds a ribbon, E Pluribus Unum, meaning one nation for many people. The eagle's talons hold both an olive branch, which is considered a peace offering, and arrows, an instrument of war. And this illustrates our sentiment. We want peace, but we are prepared to fight for it. The eagle's face originally faced the arrows, but President Harry Truman ordered it turned toward the olive branch. There were, of course, 13 original American colonies, and that's why you see 13 stripes on our flag, 13 steps on the pyramid, 13 letters in the Latin above it, 13 letters in E Pluribus Unum, 13 stars above the eagle, 13 plums of feathers on each span of the eagle's wing, 13 bars on its shield, 13 leaves on the olive branch, 13 olive fruits, 13 arrows, 13 stars above the eagle, and the phrase Anuit Coptus also has 13 letters. You getting uh, a trend here? The words, in God we trust, weren't added until 1957, not in Latin, but in English since nobody in America by 1957 could read or write Latin. By the way, our money is green merely because that ink was more durable than other colors. The pigment is also available in large quantities. So our green money is green for practical reasons. Practical. That's a word, I think, that can be applied to a lot of American history. How should you think about Bitcoin? Turn to a specialist. For six years, Bitwise has been helping investors access crypto. Bitwise manages the world's largest crypto index fund. They also offer six crypto ETFs. You get cutting-edge insights, expert Bitcoin research, and a nationwide team to help. Bitwise helps investors and advisors navigate crypto with confidence. Partner with a specialist. Look for ETFs backed by Bitwise. Bitwiseinvestments.com. Carefully consider the extreme risks associated with crypto before investing. Hey, financial advisors, are you fluent in crypto, blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, stable coins, tokenization, and most importantly, crypto taxation, estate planning, and asset allocation? Take the online course, become certified in blockchain and digital assets. Thousands of financial professionals from 37 countries have enrolled. Become fluent in crypto so you can help your clients and build your practice. Enroll today and get your CBDA designation. Happy Independence Day. We're going to give our team Thursday and Friday off to help celebrate the holiday. I'm glad you're with me here on The Truth About Your Future. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to follow and subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts, Apple, Spotify, YouTube. And remember, leave a review on Apple Podcasts. I read them all. Never miss an episode of The Truth About Your Future. Follow and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. I'll see you Monday. Increased awareness and actionable intelligence about the forces that are shaping our world. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman.